Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nelson Azono One. Today I'm going to be showing you a software I built using Verifinger SDK, a biometric software actually. I've been getting messages concerning this particular SDK and uh, I decided to build something on this. So I'm going to be showing you that right now. I have my Visual Studio open here. You can see that. So I'm going to click on start here to start up this, uh, this uh, source code. So we'll give it some time to open. And yeah, I added some login. So I'm going to go ahead to authorize this uh, application. Click on login. Hula. So here it is. So um, if you are if you are interested in doing something like this using um, very finger SDK, uh, this source code is going to be very helpful for you. Um, for the record, very finger SDK is a biometric fingerprinting SDK. Um, biometric um, mostly it's it has both uh, face face um, um, face um, how do I put it face biometries, fingerprint biometries, and a lot of other biometries embedded in it. But what I'm going to be doing today is targeted uh, on the finger print biometries part of it so i'll be doing i'll be covering any other um any other means of biometrics so i will be only i will only be focusing on the fingerprint side because that's what a lot of messages i've got has been requesting for so this is these are the functionalities i was able to 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 build you can enroll a finger, you can view the records, you can check for duplicates. So this check for duplicates, what it does is it actually takes one finger, then it goes through the records on the database to see if there is a duplicate, right? Then there is a deduplication. So the duplication, what it does is um, it looks through the records you have on your database and if there's a duplicate, it shows you that these guys are duplicates. You can now decide what you want to do with the duplicates. So those are the functionalities I was able to integrate. This software uses, um, uses SQLite as the database technology you can actually use you can actually use any other database technology tools to store the um, the the data that this software is going to generate you can store it in ms sql you can store it in mysql any technology but for this software i am using um my sq i am using a sqlite sorry i'm using sql sqlite database that's what i'm using all right, so um, before I start, I need to first of all attach the database. You can see below the form here, I have attached database link here. So I need to click on it. Then um, I check for the database. I have neuro wage sample database here. That's actually the database schema that I'm, I'm, I'm using. But your, your database schema can be anything, but I'm using this neural wage database schema. So on this um, on this neural wage database schema, I I already have things like my subject ID and I have um, the fingerprint. What I mean is I have a column to store a subject ID and I have a column to, to store the fingerprint uh, data. So I'm going to select this file here this this is a db this is a um, square db file so i'm going to select and click open here my database is going to, to
to be attached for me you see that database attached successfully all right so you can see here we have zero subjects this is like saying we have zero records so at the moment we don't have anything stored on this database yet so we are going to be populating this database how do i populate this database i'm going to click and roll to enroll a new subject your subject can be anything it can be a student it can be an employee it can be a user it can be a client anything your, your 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 subject can be anything you can decide to add first name last name it's up to you but for this solution what i did is i used just subject id that way i i want to be able to identify who owns a certain print right so i will click on a row here to enroll a new subject i will you can see here i already have a device shown to me here so the implementation i'm using um the implementation i did was for the sql gen scanner so if you have any other scanner that you want to integrate feel free to reach out to me i will be able to do that for you but for this demonstration i am using sequigen scanner so the sequigen version i have here with me is um sequigen hamster plus that is what i have here with me is if i is um, a, a fingerprint uh, scanner so that's what i have here with me you can see the software has already detected this device so i need to just select it here and um, click scan so when i click scan i have to um i have to now scan my finger so i am going to scan my left thumb that's what i'm scanning now my left thumb so what I'm, i will do is i will try to enroll multiple fingers and i will intentionally make a duplicate that way when we are checking for duplicates we are going to see that it actually works so i'm going to scan my my left thumb now so i place my left thumb it shows here i am going to name this left thumb so because this is the first left thumb i'm going to enroll i will add original to it original so i save i will do another enrollment the same left thumb this one i'm going to call it left thumb duplicate duplicate one because we are going to have to duplicate so i'm calling this one duplicate one for left thumb i will enroll again i'll call this left thumb duplicate two so now we have the left thumb three times one is the left thumb original the left thumb duplicate one and the left thumb duplicate two i'll go ahead to save this record all right now i am going to enroll my right thumb this time around we are just going to have two instances i'm going to have the right thumb original and the right thumb duplicate one okay so enroll select device scan then i put my right thumb sorry i need to i need this to be clear enough all right so, um you can see we have the quality of the capture showing here let me call this my right thumb original i save 
So what I mean by original is um, is the first right thumb going in into the system. So that's why I'm calling it original. Okay. So I will enroll again. This will be the last enrollment. So I scan my right thumb again. And this will be my right thumb duplicate. I see. Alright, so I'm done with the enrollment. I I can go to records. You will see um, um all my enrollments are showing here. You can see that. You can see in the order we enrolled them. We have the left thumb original. The left thumb duplicate, the left thumb duplicate two. I mean, the we have the left thumb duplicate one, left thumb duplicate two. We have the right thumb original, and finally the right thumb duplicate. All right. So I'll close this out. Then what? What I'm going to do now is to check for duplicates. Okay. So when I do this check of duplicate i'm going to supply it a finger is going to pull out the matches it can find in the database so it's going to pull out um um every finger in the database that matches the finger that i supplied okay so i'll click check duplicate here i will put my my left thumb now I place my left thumb Now I do search. Okay, left on. So you can see we have a match. All the match, all the left thumb in the system was found. You can see that we have the left thumb original, left thumb duplicate one, and the left thumb duplicate two. So we did not get the right thumbs, right? That's because what I supplied is my left thumb. I am going to supply my right thumb now and hopefully we are going to get all the right thumbs in the system. Remember, we have just two right thumbs. We have the right thumb original and the right thumb duplicate. So that is what um, I'm hoping the system will show me when I supply my right thumb. So I'll close this now. I will do another check duplicate. This time around, I am supplying my right thumb. So I'm supplying my right thumb now. I do search. Whoa. So you can see here we have the right thumb original and the right thumb duplicate. No left thumb was found. You can see no left thumb has been matched. So this um, this source code is working 100%. You can see that. All right. So I'm going to close this and I will now do my the duplication the duplication i will not do that so what the, the duplication is going to do is it's going to loop through all the records you have in your database this time around you are not supplying the you are not you are, you are not supplying um any finger like we did in the check duplicate no it's going to loop all the fingers in the database Okay, the first occurrence of a finger is what is going to use as the finger you are supplying. Okay, I don't know if this makes sense. So it's it's checking for duplicate, but you are not supplying a finger. Okay, you are not supplying a finger. So what it does is that it gets all the duplicates that are in the database excluding the first occurrence so it does not show you the, F, the first occurrence right i'll show you what i mean i'll click um the duplication here you can see from here you can see it tells me i have five records available for check click start to start okay click start to start so when I click start, it will go through the records. That's why I have a progress bar here. So you're going to see the progress as it's going through the records. I'll click, um, I'll click on start here. 
So it was fast, it was very fast, so <laughs> you could not see the progress. But trust me, there was, there, there was actually a progress bar. If the record was much, you would have seen the feedbacks on the, on the progress bar. All right, so this is the result of the date duplication. Here you can see we have our duplicates, right? We have our duplicates. You can see we don't we don't have the left thumb original here, and we don't have the right thumb original here. That is because it's the first occurrence of the fingerprints, right? So when he came, when he checked for um, when he checked for left thumb, he saw that. He first went to the left thumb original, okay, so he checked it, um, there was, there was no duplicate yet, how do I explain this? So, um, he goes through this whole system and, you know, picks duplicates, but he does not return the first occurrence of that fingerprint, so, if you want to get rid of duplicates, the duplicate fingerprints on your system, this will be the best solution for you to do that. How do I mean? Now you can see it's showing me the duplicates I have on, on my system. So I can actually do select all here, then I do delete selected. You can see my, um, my selected records has been deleted. Okay. So I can go back to records now. You see, we have a clean database. Clean database, we do not have any duplicate fingers now. The database is clean. For the left thumb, we have just the original. For the, for the right thumb, we have just the original. So if I go back, um, if I go back again and I do the duplication, I do start, you see, I do not have any duplicates anymore. The, the software has gotten rid of all the duplicates that I have on the system. So I do not have any duplicates anymore. And that's why you can see here it's telling me done. No duplicates found. Okay. And um, right here you can see we have... We now have just two subjects here. Remember earlier we, we had zero subjects. So now we have something on the database. We have just two records because we enrolled five records actually and we got rid of three duplicates, leaving us with just two records. So you can see that that's um, two records that we have here. So that is it guys, I don't want the video to be too long, if you are interested in this source code, reach out to me, I am going to drop my um, contact information on the video description below, check out that and um, you know if you are interested in the software, reach out to me and I will tell you the cost of getting it. And um, that will be all for this video. Um, if you find this video helpful, please like the video. And um, if you're interested in content like this, especially something that has to do with biometrics and fingerprinting, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. That will be all. Take care. Have a nice day.